So welcome everyone. Um, today you are going to need an adult. Um, so if you don't have an adult, uh, make sure that you talk to them before the next class. Um, and then you're going to have a little bit of homework. Um, the reason that we need an adult is um, we need to make some straight lines on these other two sheets of paper. Um, these are straight lines, but we're going to do it in a different way. So um, first I'm going to explain how to do those lines, and then I'm going to explain what to do with this piece of paper. Okay. This is uh, what I want the student to do. And then the lines, I need the adult to um, draw the lines and the student to cut on those lines. So we'll come right back to this. Um, so first of all, you're going to need a ruler. Um, and this is for the adult. Now, if you think the child can do it, um, by all means, um, but I wanna make it even because if they were in person, I would have these all cut out already using the paper cutter. Um, because I didn't wanna demand that everyone have a yellow loom, I did not cut all of this paper um, due to I want the students' projects to look different and have them choose what um, colors are the strips and what's the loom. So I'm gonna stop talking. Um, I just need you to make um, lines that are the thickness of the ruler. So. I'm gonna take my ruler, match it up with the edge of the paper, and I'm going to make a line. So after I make that line, I just need you to um, match up the ruler and make as many lines as you can going across the paper um, that are all the thickness of the ruler. So I will do that quick. Again, as the first grader, um, if you can do this, by all means, please do it. Um, but if you're struggling, please ask the adults. All right, so you will go all the way across this whole sheet. And when you're done, it'll look like this. And you're gonna do the same thing to your other sheet. So you'll have two sheets that have lines going all the way across and then the student um, needs to take a scissors and cut each one of these carefully, staying right on the line. So it's a really good cutting exercise, really good practice. And you're going from the bottom all the way up. So maybe cut half of each of them. So half of one color, half of the other color, and then save the extra. Um, in case you need them. And so you really only have to do about half of the sheet and half of that sheet for the cutting today, but save the extras. So I want you to cut out both sheets to about halfway. Then we come back to this sheet, which we did last week. Okay, this is your loom. So you have a horizontal line at the top, and then you have the um, lines going across the thickness of the ruler, just kind of like what we did today, except for there is that um, line across the top. Now, before we do any cutting, we need to make sure that that line that goes across the top is on the open side, meaning it opens like a book on the same side as where that line is, okay? So now that we have that and everything is done, we are going to also cut on just these lines. So we slowly cut, and the reason I say slowly is we need these lines to be nice and straight. And we stop when we get to that line that goes horizontal. Okay. So then my next one, And the paper likes to move on you. That's why I'm holding it with my other hand all the way up at the top. Kind of give it a nice little pinch. And then I always like to match up the top of the scissors with that line. That way all I have to do is close my scissors and cut. You'll notice the edges that we just cut are nice and smooth. They don't look like saw blades. Um, that's really important. So if they're starting to come out and they have um, kind of pointies hanging off the edge, then slow it down, take your time. 
And so today, lots and lots of cutting. So I'm going to cut this all the way so I can show you what it should look like. And while you're cutting this, you could have an adult um, draw your lines so that when you're done with this, you can go and cut your other two sheets like I showed you earlier. Okay, three more. So when you are all done, you will have something that looks like this. So the lines don't go all the way up to the top because of that line here. Um, in the middle, they are open kind of like shades uh, on a window. Right? So you will have this made, and then you will have your other two sheets cut to at least halfway. So you're going to cut all of these strips on this one to about here, and then save the other half. And then you're going to do the same thing, cut all of these lines up to about here and save this other half and then save all of your strips for next week. All right. Good luck.